For this video, we're going to be manual muscle testing gluteus maximus. I'm going to start by putting my person into a prone position, and I'm going to be flexing them at the knee joint. Next, we're going to be laterally rotating the acetabulofemoral joint, and then asking the person to lift their leg up off the table into extension. We're utilizing extension and external rotation of the acetabulofemoral joint and ignoring the adduction and abduction components of gluteus maximus. I'm going to hold down on top of this individual sacrum and ask for her to lift up her leg on her own power. There is the active range of motion component of gluteus maximus. Now I'm going to ask for her to lift her leg up and hold it up off the table as I put pressure down onto her thigh and ask for her to hold for five seconds. Four, three, two, and one, and relax back down. And now from a starting position with the leg on the table, I'm gonna ask her to lift up, completing glute max's range of motion. For the length position for gluteus maximus, I'm gonna have my partner turn over into the supine position. And we are going to fully flex and medially rotate this extremity. What you may notice However, is that as you fully flex, there's not a lot of medial rotation that is available. So you can add whatever is left and then bring the knee up towards the individual sternum, finishing the length position for gluteus maximus. Next, we're going to be manual muscle testing gluteus medius. So what I'm going to ask is my individual has a straight leg in a sideline position. Due to the fact that gluteus medius is slightly more posterior than glute minimus, we're going to add abduction as the primary action, however secondarily a slight amount of external rotation and abduction. So let's repeat that again. The person's going to abduct, externally rotate, and extend their leg at the acetabulofemoral joint. Can you please do that as one motion? Thank you. I'm going to bring her part way up into that motion and I'm going to be resisting near the knee as I'm stabilizing above and below and I'm going to push back down for five, four, three, two, and one. From our starting position I'm going to get my person to abduct, extend, and externally rotate against resistance like so. For the length position I'm going to ask my individual to turn into a prone position. For the length of this muscle, we're going to put our person into a supine position. Due to the fact that we externally rotated and extended, as well as abducted, we're going to start in a supine position. I move the legs apart to allow us to have more abduction. I'm going to lift her lower extremity up into slight flexion, medial rotation, and now I'm going to try to bring it across. I'm going to stabilize on the pelvis as we bring that leg up and across, doing as much adduction as possible without the pelvis turning. This is the length position for gluteus medius. This is going to be the manual muscle test for gluteus minimus and its length. Starting in a sideline position with the leg straight and in neutral, I'm going to ask for her to simply abduct straight up. Can you please do so? Thank you. Since glute medius is fairly straight up and down, we're only going to be using abduction for minimus. I'm going to have her leg held up in the air as I'm going to be pushing back down for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And one more time to push up against my resistance, straight up into abduction. For the length assessment for glute minimus, I'm going to have my body in supine. Because we used pure abduction, we're going to be using pure adduction to lengthen it. So what I'm going to ask my partner to do is hold her own leg up in the air. As I'm going to be picking up the lower extremity, holding at the pelvis, and adducting it across as far as I can without moving the pelvis. This will be the length position for gluteus minimus.